All right, what's up? I'm Charm City 187. Yo, I want to know what you all think's going to happen with the uh, Zimmerman verdict. The judge just uh, sent the jury to the deliberating room. Uh, just going to give you what I think's going to happen, how long it's going to be. So let me know what you all think in the comments. Um, yo, for real, I really think that the prosecution was a joke I think the judge is a fucking joke completely biased and I, I mean if I can see it and everybody else can see it you know the jury can see it excess, especially since they're sitting in the fucking room with her and you know, I, I really think there's going to be two out. there's one of two things that's going to happen either they're going to come back in about two hours with a not guilty on all charges or just to just to uh, not like smack it in the face of uh, the kid who was killed his parents they might wait until Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning but I think if it does go until Saturday afternoon Sunday morning it'll be a hung jury because there's six people on the jury five white women one uh half black half hispanic woman woman on the jury and i really think it's going to end up being 5 5 5 to 1 or 4 to 2 for acquittal so and i'm pretty sure that the one uh the half black half spanish woman won't budge on her on her second degree uh murder verdict so or 20 minutes into the uh deliberation now See, I still there. If anything, the state proved that Trayvon Martin had ill will, hatred, and spite. Just because Zimmerman said he's a fucking punk doesn't mean he had ill will, hatred, or spite. But Trayvon Martin talking on the phone to his uh, baby doll hair wearing girlfriend that right there was ill will, hatred, and spite. Plus, plus. The kid had four minutes to walk away, not come all the way back around in a big circle and attack Zimmerman. I mean, shit, you, you know it's bad. It, it's, it's all political pressure. The police chief had to resign because, well, he got fired because he didn't want to charge him over political pressure. And I don't understand why the defense didn't ask him when he was on the stand, why are you not the chief of Sanford Police Department anymore? Well, because George Zimmerman did nothing wrong and I didn't want to charge him. So uh, the special prosecutor that they called in, who now is in federal court on bribery charges, fired me. Or he, or he resigned, one of the two. But... I mean, it's still, it should have never even have came to this position. Should have never even made it this far. Shit, even after the, if if this were any other judge or any judge that had common sense, they would have dismissed the case after the prosecution put on their case first. Their case was a joke, an absolute joke. If you're talking about taking the rest of somebody's life and putting them in a cage you have to prove something you can't come up with three or four different theories about what the fuck happened and say we don't know if Mr. Zimmerman's telling you the truth or not but we don't know that these other things couldn't have happened that's not how it works that is not how it works you cannot you cannot take somebody's life liberty or pursuit of happiness without due process and beyond a reasonable doubt and that's it and it should have been tossed from the fucking go from the get go it should have been tossed that's why they were fighting so hard to get manslaughter and third degree child abuse put into it because they know that they didn't prove second degree murder they know they didn't prove it but even with even even though Another thing that scares me a little bit is that they might find him guilty of the lesser included, which is manslaughter, 
which in all reality, it's just as bad as second degree murder because second degree murder, you're getting 25 to life. Manslaughter, you get 10 to 30 years and you know how much this, ju this judge hates Zimmerman and his attorneys. You know that bitch is going to knock him on the head with 30 years. You know it. Unlike here in Maryland, well, in Baltimore, yo, a motherfucker in Baltimore can murder somebody and get 20 years. The Democrats have the shit in Maryland set up, the prison system set up to where they murder somebody, they go into jail, they get a degree in college, and then get to get released after four and a half years. But if you get convicted of attempted murder in Maryland, you get 30 years. And it's just ridiculous. But yeah, this afternoon, Saturday, they'll be back. It's either, I'm, I'm saying not guilty on all charges or it's going to be a hung jury because the one, the one juror won't come up off of it. And that's it. So, alright. Put in the description what you all think and I'm out. Peace.